Welcome to the shack, I'm Rick. If you have an older trailer, you probably have this style, the old bulb style tail light. About six years ago, I thought about LEDs, but at that time they were still a little expensive. Now they are much more affordable. I went down to Home Depot. They have LED trailer light conversion kit by Toe Smart converting and it, I mean it comes with everything as you'll see so I went ahead and got that and I went from this old style now I got this nice bright LED tail light this I always feared being in an accident someone not seeing me braking someone not seeing my signal turned on uh, I always had that fear of being rear-ended or getting into some type of an accident I have no fears no more. Bright, get your attention, much more efficient. Don't worry about chain of the ball. This is going to last a long time. Very easy conversion, very easy wiring. Comes complete with everything. If you want to rewire your whole trailer over, they got enough wire for that. In my case, I didn't. I just cut and spliced right here. It was good to go. The only thing that I couldn't use because of the placement of my tail light, they have a license plate bracket that comes in the kit. Because underneath here, on the left signal light, there is a white LED light to light up the license plate. But my main thing is much brighter, more efficient. It gets the attention. They're going to see when I stop. They're going to see when I have my signal on. I feel much safer. Easy quick conversion, so let's get to it, go through it. You'll see the before, middle, and after. You'll see the difference between this bright LED and the dull, sometimes in the bright sunlight, hard to see bulb. Before we get going on replacing these, let's get this taken apart and see exactly what all we have looks like it has a license plate this is everything complete I mean your license plate holder your tail lights looks like it's got everything you're going to need license plate holder all the wiring I'm going to ever need now I got to get a socket to undo this and get them out 7 16 socket will undo these screws hold this in here they are marked this is top and this is curbside so it has to mount that way because this is your clearance on that side basically these drill holes and mount them right here so uh, I, I may just take these out, drill holes, and mount these right here. One of the first things I have to do, I'm just going to go find where I have this light spliced in. So it's right here. I got to cut the wire here. I have my wires taken apart. I have them cut. Now I'm going to have to undo this screw holding this tail light on, remove it, and figure out where I'm going to mount the other one. There we go. The left turn signal also has a lit bottom for your license plate, so it'll light up your license plate. Unfortunately, I don't have the room the way this is sitting. It'll be hitting this. I won't be able to sit my license plate on there. I'm going to mount it where the clearance light is just past this. I'm going to bring that over right to the edge. I'm going to mark the center for each bolt. This is inch and a half thick. I'm going to dead center it so I'm going to go three quarters of an inch up. Right there is my mark.
there's my center on both of those holes. I'm going to drill a pilot hole first, then I'll use a quarter inch drill bit, drill it out, make sure that fits. If it's a little snug, I'll go a little bigger so I can have some room to center it and make sure it's okay. Do the same for the other. I'll wipe that off. And I'm going to take a little bit bigger drill. I'm going to kind of countersink, take out the edge of both sides. All I want to do, take off any burrs. Smooth, good, good, good. Put this there. Put the washer nut back on. So, just out of curiosity, put that on. Put this on. Turn my flashers on, see if it even works. Hmm. Now, which one do you think they're going to see first, and which is brighter? Definitely, the LED stands out. Generally speaking, when you're doing the wiring, the white is the ground. The green wire, which is on the other side, is your right signal. The yellow wire, this one is the left stopping and turn signal. Brown is your tail lights. So I am going to connect the yellow, the yellow, brown, the round, and the white. I will get something that I can just connect to the back to ground it out. I always heat shrink protecting on my connections. Six to 14 gauge, this should be good. And the shrink wrap just fits over that. So I'm just going to use my black, and I always go about an inch on each side. I'll put that on the brown wire. Bring that down later once I get it done, connected. I don't want that much. I just want a little bit on the end. That's way too much. Uh, maybe maybe a quarter at the max because when you put this in see that's way too much it only when it butts out you only want it to go about right here so that is actually plenty put that in slide in crimp it It's tight. Now we have slide in. Here it goes. Pick that in. And what I do is slide this over. Heat that up, shrink it, and that protects it. There we go. He shrink. When I'm in my shop, I found some eyelets. So what I'm going to do, 
put this on the white and this will slide right on there Do like that the bolt will go on here and that's going to be behind the metal and it's going to ground it out so this will be my ground wire put this on real quick when I'm doing stuff like this I like to have the wire come up just a little bit past it so I'll have it a little bit longer than normal or what I would normally have Slide this over, and I'll heat that up. Gives that a little protection. And mount that around here to the back. Tighten this up. Pocket. Snow these up. That one is done. Now that they'll see. Now I don't have no worries. They will see when I hit the brakes or when I turn my turn signal on. Easy update, easy insulation. These were the Pro Class LED trailer lights by Toe Smart. Pick them up at your local Home Depot. Update your trailer get modernized get the LED and get seen as always I appreciate you taking the time to view very simple project and we do everything I don't do just woodworking I don't do just tools I whatever comes up in life this is what we have to do thank you so much for viewing follow me on Twitter I will tweet out when the videos come out Technically, I do every two weeks, but sometimes I get busy. I have a lot of things, so it will be every week. Seems like in the next month. Uh, hit the subscribe button, and when you do, hit the notification. So either Twitter or YouTube, you'll be notified of the videos come out. I don't expect you to watch everything, but it will notify you what's coming out. Check it out. If it's something that might interest you or something you may be looking to do in the future, updating your trailer. Check it out, and it may help you. Um, and that's it, man. Be blessed, get out to take back your shack. Follow me as I take mine back. Clear space, get out there. Even if it's just do a little project like this, build it for a friend. Always build it for family. Most importantly, build it for your sanity. Or get out there and do this, and have some of your time. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.